So we are here preparing for Christmas and the second day of reflection. The unusual way in which God works. Yesterday we looked at Tamar and Rahab. Today the third women included in the genealogy of Jesus, Ruth, comes in. We know a beautiful story of Ruth. A woman who was a Moabite, who was not the chosen one of God, who was not part of Israel at all. She was the daughter-in-law of Naomi and she was a young widow. She was a woman. She was a widow. She was young. Three vulnerable things in one package. Yet, the way in which God protected her and lifted her was great. But in all of this, let us focus on her response. Her response was beautiful. She looked at her mother-in-law, her helplessness and told, I am with you. I will go with you. Your people shall be my people. Your God, my God. This is the profession of faith which this woman did. What she had in hand was helplessness. What she had in hand was nothing. But what she gave was her everything. This is what the Lord wants. It is very easy to give excuses. I don't have money. What shall I give? I myself am helpless. What should I do? How can I help the church? I am nothing. She was also nothing. Having three vulnerabilities. A woman, a widow, a young widow. Having all these vulnerabilities, she said, I will go. Where to go? Do not know. Does she know the people? No. All of them are strangers. All of them are strangers to her. She trusted the Lord and she just went. What will we eat? Where will we stay? What will we do? Nothing known. Yet, just trusted in the Lord and she went. Uh, this is the kind of trust the Lord wants from us today. From the character of Ruth, he's teaching us one thing. He wants our commitment, not our excuses. If you want to give excuses, you will find hundred. Ruth would have found thousand excuses. But she didn't give excuse, she gave commitment. She just went. She walked in the dark. And see how the Lord shone his light on her. Nowadays, the relationship between the daughter-in-law and mother-in-law. Because a daughter-in-law enters into the dark. Till now she was raised up in a different house. She enters into a new house. No, everyone is a stranger to her. She wakes up in the morning and finds herself among strangers. But you look the way Ruth was no longer a stranger to her mother-in-law. She was whole and soul, all in all for her. I will stand by you. I will walk with you wherever. Come, let's go. If such commitment is given by today's mother-in-laws and daughter-in-laws to each other, there will be no fights in the houses. There Jesus will be born. Or else only disturbance will be born. Only fights will be born. Divorces will be born. You want all that? What you want? You want Jesus to be born? Then become like Ruth. Become like Naomi. Trust each other. Love each other. Give each other. Don't give excuses. No, she doesn't come from my background. My background is different. Her background is different. She doesn't understand me. I don't understand her. All that are excuses. God doesn't want your excuse. He wants your commitment. And this is what we are supposed to give him. Are you ready to give God the commitment that he's asking you? Look at Ruth once again. Today, let us just reflect on this one character called Ruth, who was in the genealogy of Jesus, who was a Moabite outsider, but she entered inside because of her commitment, because of her love, her charity. She went, she worked in the field to fetch food for her mother-in-law. She was there. She did not take a back step from giving herself to the commitment which she made. It's very easy to make commitments sometimes. I will do, I do. But will you do? Are you doing is the question. She did. She kept it to the commitment. And then only God could work. No. God will be able to work if you keep to the commitment. 
It is very easy to make promises. But to keep by promises is difficult. And that is what we are here to do. You want Christ to be born in your house? In your heart? Then he wants you to keep to the commitment, to the promises that you made to him. Do not give excuse. Do not point fingers towards people and say, because of this person, because of that person. No, because of no person. You are supposed to answer God for yourself. Ruth answered. Ruth did not say, uh, Oprah left. No, I will also leave. Because of her only. I wanted to be, but looking at Oprah, no, I also am feeling to go. No. Oprah, it is her choice. I am Ruth, it is my choice. And she made the choice. So let's close our eyes. Make this commitment to the Lord. And reflect, reflect. Am I giving excuses? Am I pushing the blame on others? Or am I making the commitment, keeping the commitment? That is important. Amen.